Welcome back to my cooking channel. Today I have a special guest, um, my second daughter, Gabriella. Um, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but um, I'll tell you a secret. Well, not a secret, but her nickname for me is um, my porcelain doll. So since she's been born, I always called her my porcelain doll. I don't have nicknames for a lot of my daughters. Um, like Pookie, I call my, like I, I I'm always- I'm the only call, one that has a definite one. Yes, right? You're the only one. So I call her my porcelain doll, because her skin just, she, when I look at her, she looks like a porcelain doll to me since she's been born. <laughs> so yeah, she's beautiful. So anyway, I mean, they, they all are beautiful. I mean, okay, I don't want your other sisters to get mad at me. Like, they're all beautiful. But um, Gabrielle is my porcelain doll. And all the girls are fine with it. They know I call her my porcelain doll, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, today we're going to be making um, chocolate chip cookies. But they're not just regular chocolate chip cookies. They're um, my nonas. Yes, they're my mom's recipe. It's not in my cookbooks, and it's a recipe that um, we're going to share with you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so, I'm really excited to yeah. make them too because I haven't had them since she passed away. Uh, and I haven't had them either since she passed away. So, yeah, this is really special to us. And Gabriella, I mean, all my girls were close to, to my parents. And I'm sure if anybody, you know, from watching the show, you guys could see how close I was to my parents. I miss them tremendously every day. So, this is a dedication to my mom. And Gabriella, you know, all my daughters adored my parents. But Gabriella has actually done projects at school regarding my parents. And um, so, and like she's wearing my mom's necklace that was passed down to her, her, her cross necklace. So, yeah, so, she, you know, she definitely, you definitely had, had a, a connection. special bond with my Nona. Yeah, so you tell them a little bit. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I was always with her. And I think one of the major things I learned from her, I know this is weird, but like cleaning. I love cleaning. Yeah. And I would sit with my Nana in my laundry room at our house in Six Indian Lane. And she had this little wooden chair and she would do laundry all day. And she would do the laundry and I would be the sorter. And we just had this whole system going. And I always enjoyed spending time with her every day. She's making me cry. <laughs> Yeah, but it was special. Grandparents were special, precious. Cherish the time with them. Yeah, yeah. So this is like, I miss cooking with my parents too. Yes, uh -huh. I was spoiled. They made meals for me every day. Yeah, I know. They're the best. <laughs> yeah. So that's why. I know, and they they like loved cooking for us, right? Yeah, no, they did. Like that was their thing every day. They made food for us. Yeah, they loved. Like I looked forward to it after school. Like I had parents that um, actually just lived for us. Like, they loved, yeah, they loved they loved, you know, their children. They loved their grandchildren, and like they were those kind of grandparents. Yeah, they just, um, you know, family was everything to them, and that's you know it is to me. And yeah. So that's why I cherish my, you know, my four daughters, and you know, you guys are my life. So, yeah. So I can't wait to make these chocolate chip cookies and share our, our you know, our family recipe with you guys. Um, sorry, I got emotional, but um, so I'm, I'm sure you know people out there could understand. So yeah, I love you. Thanks for doing this with me. All right. So like, all right. So we're gonna start. Okay. So Gabrielle is like, she loves this. So uh, I love baking. I prefer it over cooking. I think. Yeah, I know. I have to say, the baker in our home is Gabriella. Yeah, I like baking over cooking. So another thing um, that I want to share with you guys about Gabriella, she's very particular, very organized. Um, she reminds me of me when I was her age. And then after having four kids, um, I loosened up a little bit because I couldn't be so like that. Um, but I love the way she is, so I'm going to let her Take over, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be your sous chef today. How about that? Sure. Yeah. So like that cause, works because she's the baker in our family. She loves to bake. So let's get going. We're gonna make Nana's chocolate chip cookies. Great. So we're gonna put the dry ingredients in one bowl. Okay. So the flour, baking soda. Okay. 
And salt. Salt. So then you mix these together? Yeah, you just do a little light whisk. Okay. Oh, I love how, how you do it so gentle. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then you can just set this aside. Okay. And now we'll work on the wet ingredients. Okay. So sugar. Okay. Yes. Sugar. And then we're going to mix that with the butter. Okay, and brown sugar? Yes. And brown sugar. Okay. Do you know why I like baking more? Why? Can you take a guess? Well, the story actually, actually contradicts itself a little bit, but still. I like baking for this reason more. I'm trying to think. Um, it's, it's, it's really rewarding the way it tastes. I don't know, like what? Well, remember in fifth grade? Yeah. Okay. The fire, I don't know. Oh my God, this is another good story. Oh my okay. God, this is another good story. First we're gonna cream this and then we'll tell you the story, not okay. yet. Okay, okay, not yet, okay. So we're gonna just cream this first. Okay. And it has to, it's better when it's like a light, fluffy color. Okay. This is not soft enough, but it'll get there. Okay. Oh, so, you know, next, usually I put it in the microwave. I remember I used to, when I used to make these with Nona, I would melt the butter in the microwave. Actually, yeah, that's fine, it's soft enough. I'm gonna can I use this? Wait, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. And then you know what? Should, should I just put it in the microwave for two seconds? Should you? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. That's a little hard. Yeah. That's uh, right. I used to always melt the whole. This is if you're if you don't leave your butter out, your butter stick out like for a, a long time, it's better just to melt it either on a, in the saucepan or melt it in the microwave. So I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for a few seconds. Literally. Just, yeah. No. It, it, I don't want it to be melted. That's it. Okay. Great. So now we're going to whisk this on a low speed. Can you get a spatula, please? Yes. I want to do it for a little longer. It's supposed to get a little pale in color. Yeah, no Once you put the eggs in it, though. You're, you're just a professional. <laughs> Can I just scrape the sides of the bowl? Yes, honey. Please. Oh, you want me to do it? Or you want? Yeah. Okay. 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 Perfect. Okay. Now we can add in our next ingredients. So vanilla? we need two eggs. Okay. And then we can add the vanilla last. Okay. Do you know how to? Crack an egg with one hand? No, I actually don't. Ah, uh, so I learned. All right, look at this. Wow. Isn't that good? I you like did it. That. Yeah, so you want to try it? You try it. No, I don't want to get chocolate. <laughs> okay. It. It's okay. I'm so excited for these. Chocolate chip cookies are my favorite dessert. I know. What are your favorite dessert? I have to I say. I think banana bread's up there for you. And then is yeah, it Yeah, but like growing cookies? up, my favorite dessert from Nana um, were, were these chocolate chip they cookies. They were. Yeah, okay, I okay, serve okay. like those. The chocolate chip cookies are like my absolute like And it was, and I liked her chocolate chip cookies. No, Like yeah. I didn't like. These are different. Like we never grew up eating like the chocolate chip cookies from, that you make from the like store. Like she didn't buy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. made dough. Yeah, no, we, everything that my I mom made I wouldn't expect was anything like, less. Yeah, it was homemade. Yeah. I really like this. Okay, now we're gonna continue to mix on low speed. With the eggs. No, the difference is like I would love to bake for you guys all the time too, but sorry. I, I'm a working mom. So yeah, like, and I, you cook more too. Yeah, so like so, I understand that. Yeah, and like I cook for you guys all the time, but like baking, yeah, I mean, and the thing is, like we're, it's different now, we're, we all, not, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just a, baking, you need time, mm -hmm. and that's that mommy's a working mom, and um, it's more like, but I love that you bake for us. Yeah, yes, I, I like, like baking. That she bakes for us, yes. So now I'll tell you why I like baking more. I like baking because it is a stress-free environment, because you have to use the oven in most recipes. I mean, I only use recipes that use the oven, but the reason why, <laughs> the reason why I don't like cooking, well, I cook some things, but I don't know. I get worried when I cook. 
Wait till you guys hear this story. Oil scares me. So anything with oil on like a pan, I'm terrified of. In fifth grade, basically, I attempted to make fried Oreos. Now I know that's a dessert. But anyways, I put olive oil on the stove and I was trying to boil olive oil. Now, you're supposed to boil olive oil? No, but I didn't know that. And you're supposed <laughs> to use vegetable oil. And I was in fifth grade, I was with my friend, it was our first play day. Um, or mother, probably, because like, what? what I know, heck? and I was excited. You know, I knew she was making She knew I was making it. She was upstairs, and you know, I, I opened this pot, this lid about like probably three times, and there was so much smoke. But I was like, oh, it's fine. And the third time I opened it, there was a fire in the pot. So I go upstairs to my mom, I'm like, frantic, and she comes downstairs. She's just as frantic as me, doesn't know any better than me, and she, Guess. It's okay. She learned from this, but yes. she takes a measuring cup, I remember, with, with water for an oil fire and throws it on the <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my uh, God. In that moment, I thought our whole house was going to burn down. The fire went up and like, across through our ceiling. And ceiling. I, all I saw was fire. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually, I'm like, I, I was just like, in, in like yeah. a shock and I'm like, oh my God, my house is gonna burn down. I, I literally thought my house was gonna burn down. Yeah. We're done with this now. So I literally thought a ha my house was gonna burn down. Like I saw the fire going across the ceiling. I'm like, oh my God, my house is gonna burn down. And all of a sudden, I didn't know, like it just went away. But my whole ceiling was black. And I was like, but thank God, I told, I, sc I screamed for our, for Gabriella and the rest of the kids and her friend to go outside. I'm like, go outside. I'm like, get out of the house. Yeah, I mean, it was a terrifying experience. My dad comes home. There's like, yeah, it's like black fire smoke trucks everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. black smoke, damage. But that was all that there was. So we got very lucky. But ever thank since God. then, oil scares me. So yeah. rightfully so. But I like, <laughs> I struggle to make chicken cutlets. Like. I stand like five feet away from the stove and like, yeah, I, so I try, that's but why she it scares me. baking better, which I have no problem, so. Like, yeah, I, I like baking better. I don't mind, I told Gia, I don't want to cook, she needs to cook for me, but I would. I don't mind cooking for you. Yeah. Since oil scares you. Got it. But I think, you know, hopefully you'll get it. Uh, I'll, get I've gotten over it, like yeah. I can cook some things, it's not that I'm like, no, I'm content with no, it. No, but, but now you don't have I to struggle cook, you have it. me. Yeah, no, I don't have to, yeah, so. I don't have to. Okay. All right, now we're going to start to fold in the dry ingredients right, so into we our said, wet. So this was the... Um, so we have vanilla extract. Yes. The, we, the, um, the sugars, sugar, the, the brown eggs. sugar. So now we're going to combine the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. Yes. So we'll do a little bit at a time. Okay. Because we want to fold it in. Okay. Because you don't want to overwork the dough. Gotcha. Just so a little bit. Okay. All right, and you want to you start mixing it in? It's wet on it. Oh, so you want a dry one? Oh. Okay. We'll just put a little bit and then we'll fold. Okay. Okay. So I would do it in like thirds. Got it. Okay. I love how you, you do it. How you fold. I like that. <laughs> it's gonna start to get really sticky eventually when more of the dry is in it. More dry please. Sure. I like that. Another third. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a tray? Yes. Yes, and also guys, make sure you have a tray lined with parchment paper. Or you can spray it with some non-stick spray. Do you want to do this too? No, you can do it. Okay. You do it so well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're allowed to do this with like a paddle attachment too. But we don't have that, so. Or we do, but, but that's with the standing mixer. Oh, okay. This, we just used a handheld. Oh, you know what that's called. Yeah, I'm actually not sure what these are called. I mean, they're whisks, so I don't know if it's called a whisk attachment, but I mean. Yeah, these are called beaters. Okay, they're beaters, but <laughs> I know that you're supposed to use a paddle attachment when you're mixing like a dough or something. Got it. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah, you can do the rest. Okay, got it. Great, we're gonna keep folding this in and then we'll be ready to fold in the chocolate chips. What kind of chocolate chips are these? Uh, they're milk chocolate. Mm. Milk chocolate is my favorite. Do you like dark chocolate or milk chocolate? I like milk chocolate. Okay, good. Yeah, so if you guys, say. you could either use dark chocolate or milk chocolate, you know, whatever's your favorite. Or semi-sweet. 
I like milk chocolate. I like milk chocolate. Oh, yeah, so you can use either semi-sweet, dark chocolate, or milk chocolate. Our favorite is milk chocolate. Or you could even use white chocolate. Yeah, even white chocolate is great. I love mm. when the batter smells like vanilla. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it smells so good. I'm gonna make sure there's no more flour. Yeah, and we, um, Gabriella baked a lot for us. Um, and I, we baked together a lot during, during COVID. COVID. Yeah. We baked an extreme amount. What was your favorite thing I baked? Oh my God. I baked like Cinnabons, crumb yeah. cake, what else? My, oh my God, we have to share with you guys next time. Gabriella makes the most amazing crumb cake. My, our crumb cake, like she makes it for all the holidays. So her crumb cake is to die for. Now we're ready to fold in the chocolate chips, which is the last ingredient. Okay. Let me get to the egg a little bit. To the end? Yeah, one second. Okay. Want me to help a little bit? Yeah. Okay, and then you can throw them in. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. It's thick. You need some, <laughs> you need some strength for this. Okay. 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 Keep going. Okay. Mm, I remember I used to love the chocolate chips. Like you need like to have enough chocolate chips. Because if, if I ate a piece that didn't have a chocolate chip in it, I was like mad. <laughs> I was like, I want a chocolate chip. Now we're going to plate it in the pan. And then, yeah, start. she would do it this way. Because you could also do it with an ice cream scoop. Which way do you think is easier? Oh, yeah. She would do it with, I mean, she would do it traditionally with, with just like spoon. two spoons. And then use one spoon to get the dough so off. So let's do it Nona's way. You think, oh, yeah, and, we, should and, do, we should do it this way. Yeah, do it that but way. But if you need an easier way. Okay. All right, you first do it the first size. How, how big do you think? Um, I would do be like a, a spoonful about. Yeah. So like that, right? Yeah. I feel like Just that's like good. That. I would, I would make it a little bigger. Can you move that over? Okay. So the, here's the first tray. I'm gonna put them in for 350, eight to 10 minutes until golden brown. So just, we need to keep an eye on them. So here's the first tray. Okay, so now you do this tray. So, Mom, this recipe is for you. I know you're looking down on us. And then, if you want, you could, if you want to make more cookies, you could just double the recipe. So, and this is the last. This is the next tray. I'm going to put it in. So the cookies are almost done. I'm so excited! Very I can't exciting. wait to eat one. I'm really excited to eat one. They're too cool for a little bit, though, unfortunately. If you make them smaller, then I would say eight to 10 minutes, if you make the cookies smaller. But we made them a little bigger, so I would say it takes like, you know, like 20 minutes. But like, you have to watch them. As soon as they're golden brown, then they're ready. Gabrielle was just telling me something about, um, you know, about my mom that I'm like, oh my God, you have to tell everyone about that. So tell me. No, I was just saying how she was definitely my best friend. So I'm happy that I'm making these cookies because I have another such a best way, so I'm really happy. Uh, I love that. I love that. Okay, I think the cookies are ready now. Remembering back, because they're homemade, they don't really get golden brown. It's not like there's all these different preservatives in it and stuff. So more so like yeah, so lightly like, golden to white. Yeah, so they're not like the store-bought ones. Like they get yeah. golden brown. These don't because they're homemade. Yeah. Okay, I think they're ready. They're ready. The other ones have to stay in a little bit more. Here they go. So put them on here. Okay. Yeah, and we'll try it. Just, just take one out. Oh, wow. Look. Let me look at the, the bottoms. Perfect. See that? If you like it more gooey, I would obviously cook them for less time, but I would say the standard time for larger cookies is about 18 to 20 minutes. And then for smaller cookies, eight to 11 minutes, but again, everyone's oven is different. 
So here they go, guys. Look at them. Here's Nona's chocolate chip cookies. I'm so excited to have one. I know. Uh, all right, ready? Here. Let's cheers. 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 <laughs> mm, so good. 10. 15. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching my cooking show for this episode. I know, I'm sorry. No, she that's is the best okay. Cook. No. Anywho, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and you'll see my mom next time on our cooking uh, show. Thank you. I love you. Thanks for doing this with me. Of course. It's my pleasure. It's not as cookies, of yeah. course. Uh, thank you, guys. Love, love, love you. Thanks for watching. Hugs and kisses.